Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 56. In this video, we will discuss the advanced puzzle solving technique called hidden rectangle. All the uniqueness puzzle solving techniques are based on the one solution rule. The one solution rule means for a Sudoku to be considered valid, it must have only one solution. This video has two prerequisite videos. First, you should watch DX Sudoku training video number 55 titled Types of Sudoku Links. And second, you should watch DX Sudoku training video number 53 titled Unique Rectangle Type 6 before you start watching this video. This video is composed of three parts. The first part shows you how to find a hidden rectangle in a Sudoku puzzle. The second part shows you how the logic of a hidden rectangle works. And the third part is a set of practice exercises so you can become a master at using hidden rectangles. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. We begin by highlighting all the by-value cells. By-value cell is just a fancy term meaning a cell having exactly two possible candidates. For each by-value cell, we search for a hidden rectangle type pattern. We begin searching. We find a matching cell having the same possible two four candidates as our original by value cell. Next we begin searching for a matching set of cells to the right and then to the left. We have found a possible hidden rectangle pattern in the puzzle now highlighted in green. Next we determine which candidate opposite the by value cell has two strong links coming out of it. We first highlight all the cells having a possible four candidate. For the possible 4 candidate, we have two bidirectional weak links coming out of cell 6, 3 as shown. This is not what we are looking for. Next, we highlight all the cells having a possible 2 candidate. This time, we find exactly what we are looking for. We have two bidirectional strong links coming out of the cell opposite the by value cell for the possible 2 candidate. Therefore, this is a valid hidden rectangle pattern in the puzzle. We mark the possible 4 candidate in the cell opposite the by value cell as a non possible candidate, now highlighted in dark red. Before we remove the non possible candidate, let's consider the logic for how the hidden rectangle puzzle solving technique works. Assume we do not have a 6 in cell 4, 3, and assume we do not have a 6 or 8 in cell 6, 3, and assume we do not have a 9 in cell 6, 5, as shown by being blotted out. We now have multiple sets of naked pairs. We can then eliminate all the non-possible candidates because of our naked pairs. But now we have a problem. We have no way to determine how to choose which numbers go into the cells making up our rectangle. We must guess which values to use in the cells making up our rectangle. If one of the solutions will work, the other solution will also work because the numbers have no logical implication in the puzzle. This violates our premise of a Sudoku puzzle having only one unique solution. As with all uniqueness techniques, we can eliminate candidates under the assumption the possibility of having multiple solutions cannot occur. So with this example, we must conclude one of the four candidates now highlighted in purple and outlined must be set as the value of its cell. Our premise is for each of these four cases, there cannot be a possible four candidate in cell 6, 3, now highlighted in dark red. We begin by doing the simplest cases first. Assume we have a value of 6 in cell 6, 3 as shown. This obviously means that there cannot be a possible four candidate in the cell since the value is now set. And the same is true for the case when we have a value of 8 in cell 6, 3 is shown. Next, assume we have a value of 6 in cell 4, 3 is shown. Because there is a strong link relationship with the possible two candidates, this means we have a value of 2 in cell 6, 3 is shown. 
we could have said because we have a value of 6 in cell 4 comma 3 we now have a hidden single with the possible 2 candidate in cell 6 comma 3 either way there is no possible 4 candidate left in cell 6 comma 3 and our last case to consider is having a value of 9 in cell 6 comma 5 as shown again because there's a strong link relationship with the possible 2 candidate this means we have a value of 2 in cell 6 comma 3 as shown all four cases prove our premise the possible four candidate in cell 6, 3 is a non-possible candidate. We have one more final confirmation before we remove the non-possible four candidate in cell 6, 3. As with all UR puzzle solving techniques, we must first confirm our unique rectangle does not violate the 2x2x2 two by two by two rule. Our hidden rectangle only occurs in two rows, it only occurs in two columns, and the four cells only occupy at most two blocks. So we are okay with the 2x2x2 two by two by two rule. We have confirmed our logic, so we remove the non-possible candidate. Be careful when you think you have identified a uniqueness situation when you see four cells having the same two possible candidates. For example, for the four or five candidates and the four cells highlighted in green, you might think we have a uniqueness rectangle. But in this example, there are not enough strong link relationships for this to be a valid hidden rectangle pattern. It may be the 4 or 5 in cell 8, 9 is a non-possible candidate. I have seen people argue they believe they have a uniqueness situation, but then use brute force logic to prove their point. Just remember, a uniqueness situation is something we assume will not happen, and then we use logic showing how it cannot happen. It's not about proving a particular candidate is a non-possible candidate through brute force. In this next example, we will show a special case that occurs with the hidden rectangle pattern. Just as before, we highlight all the bi-value cells having exactly two possible candidates, and then we search for our hidden rectangle. We found the hidden rectangle now outlined in green. Our bi-value starting cell is outlined in black. As you can see in this example, the cell opposite our starting bivalue cell is also a bivalue cell having exactly two possible candidates. So now the question is, which possible candidate do you choose as the non-possible candidate and in which bivalue cell? To determine which candidate is the non-possible candidate, we first begin by highlighting all the cells having a possible four candidate. As you can see with our possible four candidate, we do not have enough strong links needed to determine our hidden rectangle target candidate. We have three bidirectional weak links and only one bidirectional strong link as shown. Next we are now highlighting all the cells having a possible five candidate. This time we find what we are looking for with the possible five candidate in cell four comma four. Based on the position and location of the two strong links with the possible five candidate in cell four comma four and the way the hidden rectangle logic works, we have determined the 4 in cell 4, 4 is a non-possible candidate, now highlighted in red. After visually confirming the logic and the 2x2x2 two by two by two rule, we remove the non-possible 4 candidate from the puzzle. Time to test what you have learned. Before we begin, please remember to take some time to support the Sudoku. Pause the video and find the hidden rectangle in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidate to be removed. As a first hint, we are highlighting all the bi-value cells. As a second hint, the starting bi-value cell of the hidden rectangle is now highlighted. Pause the video and find the rest of the hidden rectangle and identify the non-possible candidate. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the hidden rectangle in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidate to be removed. As a first hint, we are highlighting all the bi-value cells. Here is the second hint. Pause the video. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the hidden rectangle in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidate to be removed. As a first hint, we are highlighting all the bi-value cells. Here is the second hint. Pause the video. Here is the solution. 
Pause the video and find the hidden rectangle in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidate to be removed. As a first hint, we are highlighting all the by-value cells. Here is the second hint. Pause the video. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the hidden rectangle in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidate to be removed. As a first hint, we are highlighting all the by-value cells. Here is the second hint. Pause the video. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the hidden rectangle in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidate to be removed. As a first hint, we are highlighting all the by-value cells. Here is the second hint. Pause the video. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the hidden rectangle in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidate to be removed. As a first hint, we are highlighting all the by-value cells. Here is the second hint. Pause the video. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the hidden rectangle in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidate to be removed. As a first hint, we are highlighting all the by-value cells. Here is the second hint. Pause the video. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the hidden rectangle in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidate to be removed. As a first hint, we are highlighting all the by-value cells. Here is the second hint. Pause the video. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the hidden rectangle in the puzzle. Identify the non-possible candidate to be removed. As a first hint, we are highlighting all the by-value cells. Here is the second hint. Pause the video. Here is the solution. This completes DX Sudoku training video number 56. Please support DX Sudoku. Thank you for watching.